Technology is the cornerstone of the 21st century. Many developed regions of the globe already experience the benefits of true broadband. Not so for Africa. Efficient and effective communication systems enable technologies ranging from high-definition TV, peer-to-peer -peer networks, IPTV to unrestricted internet access, lowering the cost of doing business through affordable international communications will make Africa a greater player on the global trade map. Broadband on demand, a tagline that means as much for the large commercials as for the entrepreneur. CECOM is here to bridge the communications divide between Africa and the world. The project required an extensive marine survey of the ocean bed along the entire route to minimize environmental disturbance and avoid possible seismic disruptions. To meet the project demands, the latest fiber optic cable technology has been used, ensuring maximum speed, efficiency and reliability. To begin the 14,000 km subsea route, the cable is loaded directly from the factory onto ships. The cable is stored on gigantic reels in the ship hull and routed to the rear of the ship. The repeaters and splitters necessary for boosting the signal and diverting the cable at the planned landing stations are connected on the ship. A plow is used to bury the cable under the ocean bed. The cable is split and diverted to the landing stations. From the landing stations, backhaul networks carry the signal to the end users. A non-exclusive commercial agreement will make available an open access landing station for the Seacom cable in Mtunzini. Third party agreements will enable backhaul. Seacom will be ready to serve the southern and east African markets from 2009. Well in time to meet the bandwidth needs of the 2010 Soccer World Cup in South Africa. When millions of users and businesses are dependent on a single cable, reliability guaranteed by regular maintenance and fast repair response is a critical factor. This involves continuous detailed system monitoring and instant fault detection at their NOC centers. A fleet of ships are strategically placed for immediate repair call-out and regular maintenance scheduling. Should a fault be detected, a repair ship is immediately deployed to the exact area. The cable is then cut under the sea. The two ends are individually hoisted up to the ship and a new section of cable replaces the faulty one. Shareholders with tremendous experience and pedigree have invested in this mega project. This makes Seacom an African project with 76.25% African ownership. Seacom's commitment to participating in the development of the continent is unprecedented and true. June 2009 will resonate as a momentous date in Africa's development agenda and herald Seacom's arrival as a real and tangible partner to the bandwidth-hungry African economies that it will serve.